so actually how I came about this video was um, we actually went to a hospital ward uh, that we saw a woman with an enterocutaneous fistula right and there was some fluid that were actually coming out from her abdomen right and then our consultant asked us that medical students what is sanguinous fluid and none of us were actually able to answer what is a sanguinous fluid okay so I said that I must actually do a lot of research on the sanguinous fluid Right, so there's sanguinous fluid, there's several sanguinous fluid. They're almost the same thing, but I'll be talking about um, their slight differences in this lecture. Okay, so sanguinous fluid. So looking at this, uh, these are like bandages, okay, covering some fluid. Now look at this, this is a serous drainage, okay. This is what we call a serous sanguinous fluid. This is what we call a purulent drainage. Now, this is basically what sanguinous fluid itself. Looking at this, this type, called the serous sanguinous fluid, that means what? It's kind of like mixed up with what? Serous drainage. You understand? So let's define it. To define it, talk about the examples of medical conditions where you can find sanguinous fluid. And, um, Talk about um, okay. Uh, talk about the types of procedures that you might find this fluid. Okay, so that's just how we'll be discussing the sanguinous fluid. So talking about sanguinous fluid from the definition, you said that sanguinous fluid is a medical term. All right, this is a medical term that refers to a type of fluid that is rich in blood or has a blood-like appearance, okay? So the term sanguinous comes from the Latin word sanguis, which means what? Blood, okay? Comes from the Latin word sanguis, and sanguis means what? Blood, okay? So sanguinous fluid can be seen in various medical conditions, such as what? Hemorrhage, when the person is bleeding, trauma and injury, okay? Surgery or post-operative drainage, just like we have here. Different types of medical procedures where you might encounter this fluid. We're talking about infections and abscesses, of course. Then in cancer and tumor related bleeding, then in blood filled cysts or hematomas. All right. All these are medical conditions where you might see this type of fluid, also known as what the sanguinous fluid. All right. Now, if the sanguinous fluid is mixed up with serous uh, uh, drainage, then you know what that's what a serous sanguinous fluid, right? So now the appearance of sanguinous fluid can vary, ranging from a light pinkish hue to a deep red or brown color, and this is depending on the amount of blood that is present. Okay. So in medical procedures, sanguinous fluid may be encountered during what thoracosynthesis, right? Thor thoracosynthesis is basically what uh, pleural fluid drainage. Okay, so if you are draining um, some fluid from the pleural cavity, you might encounter this. Then paracentesis, this is basically your abdominal fluid drainage. Atrocentesis, basically your joint fluid drainage. And surgical drainage or debridement. Okay, all these are medical procedures where you can actually what, encounter this fluid at. Okay, so that's it about what? Sanguinous fluid. And also, this, I also spoke a little about serous sanguinous fluid, all right? Basically talking about um, definition and medical conditions where you can find this type of fluid, all right? So that's it. Bye for now.